Hello friends, welcome to CSS video tutorials series. In this video tutorial, we are going to understand the importance of box sizing border box. Box sizing border box makes padding and border to be part of elements width and height guys. It makes padding and border to be considered as part of the elements width and height. Let's understand more clearly with demo. I search for notepad. I select the notepad. You can see that the notepad got open. Here I am going to write the basic structure of any HTML5 document. I say less than exclamation mark doc type HTML greater than. By reading this line of code, browsers understand the given HTML document is the HTML5 document. We know that our HTML document begins with opening HTML tag and ends with closing HTML tag. In the opening HTML tag, I say lang equal to en. Lang equal to en indicates language of this document is English. We know that our HTML document is divided into two sections, head section and body section. To indicate the head section, I say opening head tag and closing head tag. To indicate the body section, I say opening body tag and closing body tag. That's body section and that's head section. In the head section, I say meta char set equal to utf-8 greater than. This line of code indicates character set of this document is Unicode transformation format 8. And then I set the page title, opening title, closing title tag. Inside that I say CSS box sizing demo. I am going to save this file at the desktop. File, save as. I save the file at the desktop with the name default.html. Both sides I put double quotations and save. I minimize it. You can see that default.html page is created. I right click on it, say open with the Google Chrome. You can see default.html page is open in the Chrome. Title is set to CSS box sizing demo. Let's go back. Here in the body section, I am going to say h2. I say here heading text closing h2. I created one heading here. Then I create a paragraph opening p and closing p. Inside that I put the content paragraph text. And then I create one unordered list opening ul and closing ul. Inside that I add the list items opening li closing li and then I put the content item. I copy this and paste few times 1, 2, 3, 4. If I say file, save, go to browser and reload, we see heading text, paragraph text and the unordered list displayed. Remember guys, by default some HTML elements come with margin and padding guys. By default some HTML elements come with margin and padding. Let me show. I click on customize, more tools and developer tools. If I click on the body tag, you can observe the body tag comes with 8 pixels margin on all 4 sides. You can see that. If I click on h2, h2 comes with 20 pixels margin above and 20 pixels margin below. Paragraph comes with 16 pixels margin above, 16 pixels margin below. If I click on the unordered list, you can see unordered list comes with 40 pixels padding on the left side, 16 pixels margin above and below. I want to remove the margin and padding from all the HTML elements because I want to add margin and padding by itself. I want to remove the default margin and padding from all the HTML elements. For that we take help of CSS guys. So here I say opening style tag and closing style tag and then I say type is equal to text or CSS. Inside this I say star. Star is a universal selector. It is going to select all the HTML elements guys. I am telling select all the HTML elements remove margin from it and remove padding also. Margin 0 pixels, padding 0 pixels. If I say file, save, go to browser and reload, margin and padding is removed from all the HTML elements guys. So body has no margin now you can see that there is no 8 pixels margin on all 4 sides. H2 has no margin above and below. Paragraph has no margin above and below. Unordered list has no padding on the left side, has no margin and above and below you can see. So if you can remove the margin and padding from all the HTML elements by saying star opening closing flower bracket margin 0 pixel padding 0 pixel. Okay. Now let me delete this. I am going to save it, go to browser and reload. Nothing is there content. Now inside this body, I am going to create a div guys. Opening div and closing div. I am going to identify it uniquely by giving an ID of header let's say. And I can select this element in CSS by its ID saying hash header opening flower bracket closing flower bracket. I am telling select the HTML element with an ID header. So this HTML element has the ID header. Its width should be 100% and then minimum dash height should be 50 pixels 
background dash color should be black. If I say file, save, go to browser and reload, we have the div here that is the header div has width of 100%, right? It is occupying the 100% width of the browser. There is no scroll bar you can see here. It is having 100% width, height of 50 pixels and background color black. Very good. Now if I come back and say, if I say padding dash left of 2%, okay, I want to add some left padding on this header. So I say padding dash left 2%. Now what will be the width of this header due? Its width will be considered as 100% plus 2% padding left. So 102% guys. If I say file, save, go to browser, when I reload, you will see a scroll bar here. Why? Because this header due goes outside the browser guys because its width is now more than 100%. It is 102%, right? So if I refresh, you can see we got a scroll bar. So our div is going outside guys, okay, outside the browser here. If I go back and say, say padding dash right right of 2%. Now what will be the width of this header div? Its width will be 104% guys. If I say file, save, go to browser and reload, you can see it is now 104%. We have the scroll bar you can clearly observe. What if I want to make this element to be visible in the browser, not it should not go outside the browser, it should not get overflow. I have to subtract 4% from the width guys. So here I have to say 96%. When I say 96%, now the header width is considered as 100%, 96 plus 4, 100%. If I say file, save, go to browser. When I reload, you don't see the scroll bar now. If I say refresh, you can see scroll bar is gone. Now our header div has width of 100%. Okay, no problem. If I remove the padding right now, what will be the width of this header? Guys? Of course, the width will be 96 plus 2, that is 98%. If I say file, save, go to browser and reload, it's 98%. You can see 2% is empty. If I have to make it 100%, I have to go back and add 2% here. So 98 plus 2 becomes 100%. File, save, go to browser and reload, it becomes 100%. You can see that we have to do some calculation here. We have a problem of calculating. Whenever I add padding or border, I have to subtract the width value to make it 100%, right? If I remove the padding or border, I have to add value to the width property. So that is a problem, right? We don't want to do that calculations and all. I don't want to do that calculations and all. I just want to add padding and border to the element. It should be considered as part of the width, guys. So for that, we take help of box sizing border box guys on all the elements i am going to say here box dash sizing of border dash box semicolon okay let me remove this padding first i am going to set the width of 100 percent of course our header div is going to have 100 percent width if i say file save go to browser and reload it has 100 percent width you can see there is no scroll bar below if i go back and say here let me add padding dash left of 2%. Now I need not to go here and subtract 2% width here. Okay. Because the padding is considered as part of the width itself because we are using box sizing border box on all the elements guys. If I say file, save, go to browser. If I reload, we don't get any scroll bar guys. If I say reload, we are not getting scroll bar because our element width is considered as 100% only. It is not considered as 102% because as we are using box sizing border box, padding and border are considered as part of the width and height property guys. That's what we are talking here. Box sizing border box makes the padding and border to be part of elements width and height. We need not to perform any calculations here. So if I come here and say P A W D I N G padding dash right of 2%, I need not to subtract any value from the width here. If I say file, save, go to browser and reload, we are still having the 100% width element here. It's not 104% element guys. If I remove the padding right, I need not to do anything here. If I say file, save, go to browser and reload, it is still 100%. We are not getting any scroll bar. We are not getting any empty space here. So that is the power of box sizing border box guys. Just add this box sizing border box to your element. Without worrying, add the padding and border to your element. Padding and border are considered as part of the width and height of the element guys. So I can simply say here, uh, let's say P A D D I N G padding dash right of 2%. Uh, 
I can even add the border here, border of let's say 10 px solid red color border. If I say file, save, go to browser and reload, you can see border is added inside itself, right? So that's an interesting thing. If box sizing border box is not there, let's say if I say control x and save, what happens? Our element goes outside, you see. If I say refresh, our element goes outside. You can see we got the scroll bar because now the element width is 100 and 4% plus 20 pixels on the left side 10 pixels on the right side we have 10 pixel border so plus 20 pixels so that's a problem if you want to make the padding and border to be part of the width and height property you should add box sizing border box guys if i save it come back and refresh now the element is considered as 100% width element guys so that is all about box sizing border box property it's very useful property guys i hope you guys have clearly understood I suggest you people to try it yourself, experiment to get more clear idea. In the upcoming video tutorials, we are going to discuss more about CSS. If you like this video, hit the like button and share with your friends so that everyone will get benefited. For more benefits and be up to date, do not forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel. Keep learning, keep coding, keep sharing. Thank you guys. Thank you very much. See you in the next tutorial. Thank <laughs> you.